And so we were watching the accelerometer vector that the iPad was experiencing when we were holding it on the ramp. You'll notice that it points exactly opposite the direction of gravity. Now, uh, how did your prediction work out for when we actually released the iPad and allowed it to fall free with gravity? So it's a little bit hard to see. What we need is a much faster camera, but you can probably see here that essentially the vector itself points perpendicular to the ramp. So what's going on here? Well, because iPads actually do not accelerate, uh, understand uh, frame of reference, essentially it's experiencing gravity pulling it downwards, but the normal force is actually telling it it's being accelerated upwards. And so we end up with this vector that nicely looks like the normal vector when it's sitting on a, a normal plane. This can be broken down into its two component vectors, and so there's a vector that is perpendicular to the ramp. In addition to that, there's a vector that is parallel to the ramp, and this is a convenient sort of pair of components to break this up into. Now, when we actually release the iPad, the uh, cart and the iPad go into free fall, and so this vector basically disappears. And because the iPad is in free fall, the only portion of the gravitational vector it experiences is this one that is perpendicular to the ramp. And so you will see that this arrow, this vector, actually disappears. And what we see instead is a vector that is almost exactly like the normal force of the ramp pushing up on the cart. And so this little experiment is a nice way of seeing what the normal force looks like and where it comes from when you're performing experiments on the ramp.